Hi friends, today we'll look at how to customize your bash prompt in the terminal either through a generator, bash it, themes or oh my bash. Customizing your bash prompt will help you with differentiating between type of users with different permissions, but also with readability by colorizing each th section. For example, choosing a different color for your username, hostname, your shell or path directory. This makes it easy to quickly read what you're looking for and save you time. First thing you should do is to get a good font family, but you can also keep using one of your current fonts and skip this step. The font family that I recommend is Nerd Font. Just go to the following page, which I'll add in the description choose one of the fonts that you like, download it and install it. Then in whichever terminal you're using, make sure to change your default font. I prefer a more minimalistic and compact font. You might want to install the Ubuntu Mono font, which comes with uh, glyphs that are needed when using Bash It, which we'll cover next. I'm using the Windows Terminal, which I covered in previous videos, if you're interested. I've also covered all my Z-Shell in a separate video. An easy way to customize your prompt is by using a generator. This way you decide exactly what information you want to see, but also how to separate and colorize them. You can even use emojis. The coloring is very limited this way, but you can use one of the other two options that come next. Once you've defined what you want to see in your prompt, then copy the code, open your bash RC file, and before pasting the code, try searching for PS1 to see if it's already defined in your bash RC. Then either comment it out or replace it with the new values. Then save your bash RC and reload it. Bash it provides more themes to your disposal and it's very easy to install. Simply clone the following repo. If you don't have git installed, then install it using your package manager. I've covered git and package managers in my previous videos. After cloning the repo, install it using the install script. During the installation, you might want to select the option to keep your current bash RC file and append bash it to it. Keep in mind that bash it comes with a lot of aliases which are located in a subdirectory. If they conflict with your own aliases, then change them in this directory. For more information on al aliases, watch my video on the subject. After the installation, you can find the installed themes under the subdirectory theme. For a preview of the themes, access their web page, which is in the description. Open your bash RC file and change the theme. I'm using Vim as an editor, which I've covered in a previous video. Change the theme, save the file and reload it for the change to take effect. If you're missing some of the icons, then you're using a font family that doesn't include those glyphs. Try changing to Ubuntu Mono, and as, as I showed in the beginning of the video. Another option to customize your bash prompt is by using oh my bash. The installation is very easy. Simply run one of the two commands in the installation guide. Depending on which command you choose, you'll need either curl or wget, which you can install using your package manager. The installation will overwrite your bash RC file, but it will create a backup by default, or you can create a backup yourself. The installation takes a second and is immediately visible. For a list and a preview of the themes, go to this page. To change your theme, open your bash RC file and change it under osh underscore theme. Save and reload your bash RC. On my bash also comes with its aliases, 
which can be found under a subdirectory. Hope this video helps you to colorize your bash prompt to make the command line more appealing and easy to read. And I'll see you in the next video.